Chabad of Bronxville normally would be laser focused on planning Rosh Hashanah right now, but Ida had other plans. Yeah, the Jewish community organization is now trying to build back all that was lost from the storm. News 12 Samantha Crawford joins us now. Walked up and saw that their front door was shattered from the pressure of flood water. They just knew that their original holiday plans had to be shattered too. The Chabad of Bronxville. This is the room where we do the prayers. Destroyed. Holy books, children's toys, furniture, unsalvageable. The kitchen just looks like this was hit by a bomb. At one point, the water was above my head, over five feet. There's a lot of tears that are shed. There's a lot of loss that, that happens when you see a situation like this. And, you know, you built this with your sweat and tears, and then you just see it just evaporate. It's very difficult to see. Rabbi Sroli Deitch says while these items can be replaced, their Torah, with ink bleeding down its wrinkled pages, cannot be, easily at least. They're handwritten on parchment with an ink and feather. It's an, it's an art that someone has to learn. There's not a lot of scribes out there, and it takes him about a year to write a Torah. But Deitch says they will rebuild. So the lesson we learned from the Torah about what happened this week is that God gave us a tremendous amount of tough love, we'll call it. A lot of discipline. So much that the only thing he can do for us right now is kindness. Kindness that they hope you can share by making a donation to help them rebuild. If you would like to help, we have a link right on our website and mobile app. In Bronxville, Samantha Crawford, News 12.